advice to them would be is to look into DAOs, DAOs, because right now there are so many awesome, uh, and DAOs are basically new type of organizations when people, instead of creating startups, companies, whatnot, they create this decentralized, you can think of them as decentralized uh, cooperatives, uh, decentralized groups. And then some of them, they are focused on building games. Some of them, they focus on investing in stuff and whatnot. And, and uh, they actually now have lots of uh, really cool tools. This is how they vote. This is how they do governance. This is how they organize development work. And this is how they communicate and so on. So uh, lots of those organizations are looking for uh, people. So you can always raise your hand and volunteer and say, you know, look at you know the top uh, DAOs, DAOs, uh, see if uh, what are they doing. If, uh, if the goal of that particular organization uh, resonates with you, then try to volunteer. Try to like say, hey, you know what? I can do this for you. Maybe I can organize this. Maybe I can do this deployment. Maybe, maybe I can try to write this little piece of code. Maybe I can do the front end for this website, right? So it's really about doing something hands-on because mm -hmm. you can keep learning and there are lots of materials online and videos and code examples and all kinds of stuff. You can keep learning forever, right? But it's like some people, they get stuck in, in the education system and they get, you know, their bachelor's degree and master's degree and PhD and whatnot. And you can keep learning and learning is fun, right? But for me, uh, their best learning happens in real life, right? And uh, if you guys uh, remember Vitalik, he went into a really awesome computer science university, but then he dropped out after one year and then he ended up inventing Ethereum. And I'm not saying that people should or should not go into university, but I'm saying that when he brought up, he said uh, to, to myself and, uh, other people are oh, I'm thinking of dropping out. And I said, you know what? I think this is awesome because I, I, I believe that you will be, uh, there is no way that you would not, that you would stop learning, right? But in doing stuff, you will learn so much more than just kind of being in this isolated environment and learning just more knowledge. So knowledge is not abstract. The best knowledge is really applied. So really that's kind of my high level advice is find a way to get involved in a, on a practical level. And that can happen for people that, you know, every level of uh, whatever they level of, are they technical, non-technical, what's the level of seniority, are, are they a designer, are they just a good project manager, any kind of person can, can benefit from that. Mm -hmm.